everybody. It's Tamara Henry here at the Tribeca Film Festival. We are here for the premiere of Squeeze Box. So, so ladies, squeeze, Woo! squeeze in tight for our interview. Oh. I tell you what, I think I'm getting the 3D experience of this movie. Is this movie in 3D? Double D. <laughs> Double D. All right. Do you know what? I feel a little underdressed next to you ladies. Oh, I mean, no, you, you look just you're so beautiful. You're smashing. i got to get the tips on your eyeshadow there, honey. Oh, so early, you know. No. I know. So tell me tell me your role, roles in the movie. Are you the stars of the movie? No, 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 no. Well, you know, well Brenda, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I, our involvement with Squeeze Box is we used to have a cable access television program back in the day. So we shot a lot of the footage that, you know, the performances and stuff that was going on. So, you know, we... Uh, a little that, vintage sort of footage? Thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, 90 to 95. Or... I don't care who you are. You're going to get in and you're going to be crunched in a sardine can that's hot and sweaty. And you are going to wait on the one dripping bathroom that's covered with this. I mean, there, there, there was no VIP room. There were VIPs, but there was no VIP room. So you never know who's under that cover of darkness. You never know who's, who's waiting in line for the bathroom. You never know who's being pushed into a corner. It could be someone with a lot of power and influence. There, okay. So. Yeah. yeah. So they used that in the documentary, so, right? Yeah. Yeah. So okay, on your cable access show, but that was yeah. a lot of fun. You had guests on. Um, it was great because every, I mean, every time going to Squeeze Box, it was always just such a fun, positive energy, and everyone, you know, it was like a big melting pot, and and you know, it, it, it's where, uh, you know, rock and roll, gay, everyone just sort of like you know fit in together, and it was it was great. I think Squeeze Box and Don Hills, you know, why they were able to stay open during the whole Giuliani crush. Uh, I think probably at that time, my guess would be that neighborhood wasn't a hot spot. It wasn't, uh, you know, a place that was targeted. There was not a lot around there being kind of off the air. It wasn't residential as much. You didn't have people, you know, living upstairs like you got now down there. We could be loud and we could, you know, hang outside. And that was, that was a great thing for us because it also meant that we could do stuff that nobody, nobody, could find us, you know. Nobody, we were off the radar. Partying, a lot, a lot of you know, uh, uh, drag rock and roll. Drag yeah. rock and roll. I think it was more performance, it. more performance. Okay, so uh, they get up and they do their lip sync and they prance well, around. Well, not even lip sync. It was real. It oh, was they, live. They actually, yeah, absolutely. You would see, you would see people like Debbie Harry sitting in the corner, just kind of checking out the scene, digging the scene. You know, very, very fine. Thank you. Very yeah. well. And of course, John Waters and. Of course, you know, Sex in the City, Patricia Field, the yeah. stylist, uh, you know, so there is just, I mean, there was so many uh, wonderful, wonderful, you know, raw edge, yeah. great people. You know, it wasn't like this damaged environment and people seemed like they all had something going on, like everyone was doing something, you know, everyone was DJing, doing, you know, gigs and bands, singing, um, John Mitchell was developing a character called Hedwig. From Squeeze Box, our next performer performed this character here for the first time, right? We both love John's movies, so it's just like there was just so many great movies that he's uh, made. Okay, give us his top two best movies. Female Trouble. Female Trouble. Hairspray. Hairspray! There you go, baby. <laughs> um, Cry Baby. Yeah. yeah Paul Esther. I mean, We're getting it Desperate now. Living. I mean, some of the most amazing films. Yeah. And he's still God. doing it. Thank he's God. Still doing it. Yeah, John Waters. All right. Well, you girls are great. You're fabulous. We look forward to seeing your film. This is Tamara Henry at Tribeca Film Festival. Yay! You're watching Real TV Films. <laughs> <laughs>